Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about the soils of India and their types. Or uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Okay, let us start. The Soil Survey of India was established in 1956. The Soil Survey of India and the National Bureau of Soil Survey and the Land Use Planning comes under the Institute of ICAR. Indian Council of Agriculture Research. This ICR did a lot of studies on Indian soils. This ICAR has classified the Indian soil into eight types on their basis of their formation, color, composition, and location. One is olivine soil, red soil, black soil, desert soil. Laterite soil, saline soil, peaty and marshy soil, and forest soil. First, we'll see about the alluvial soil, and the soil covers the forty-three percent of the India. The new alluvial soil is called as the Khader, and the old alluvium. is termed as the bhangar it is widespread in the northern plains and the river valleys in peninsula india they are primarily found in deltas and estuaries and the soil contains the humus lime and organic matter the soil is highly fertile indus ganga brahmaputra plain narmada tapi plain are the example for this olivella soil the soil is transported and deposited by the rivers and streams and the sand content decreases from the west to east of the country and the color of this olivella soil is light gray to ash gray and the texture is sandy to silty loam or clay and the olivella soil is rich in potash over in phosphorus the crops which are mainly cultivated here are uh, wheat rice maize sugar cane pulses and oil seeds next we'll see about the red soil it covers the 18 percentage of uh, india it is mainly in lower rainfall areas The soil is also known as the omnibus group. Its structure is porous and friable. The soil is formed by the weathering of crystalline granite. The soil is formed by the crystalline granite. And nesses that is metaphor rocks and the soil develops reddish color that is due to the wide diffusion of the iron crystalline and metamorphic rocks and this red soil looks yellow when it occurs the hydrated forms they are generally the soil is the absence of lime and kankar kankar means that is impure calcium carbonate and it is deficient in phosphate manganese nitrogen humus and the potash and the red soil is rich in iron and potash and it is poor in nitrogen phosphorus and humus as i said the color red is because of the crystalline and metamorphic rocks which contains the ferric oxide the texture is sandy to clay loamy the crops which are cultivated here wheat cotton pulses tobacco oil seeds and potatoes next we'll see about the black soil or rigor soil rigor means cotton the soil is best soil for the cotton cultivation 
This black soil is formed by the volcano lava. Volcanic lava. This soil covers the most of the Deccan Plateau. This soil is the mature soil. This soil has a high water retaining capacity. It retains the moisture for a very long time which helps the crops especially the rain fed ones to sustain even during the dry season. The soils are known as the self ploughing as it has a characteristic of the black soil as it develops the wide cracks when it is dried. It is rich in iron, lime, calcium, potassium, aluminum and magnesium and it is poor in the nitrogen, phosphorus and organic matter and its color varies to deep black to light black. Its texture is clay. And the black soil covers the 15 percentage of India. Desert soil. It is being seen under the arid and semi-arid conditions. It is mainly deposited by the wind activities. In the deserts, the weathering of rocks takes a place on account of the heating during the day and cooling during the night. And this type of soil is mainly a sand grains. are found with little or no humus and it contains high salt and a lack of moisture and humus. It has a less capacity to hold the moisture and it colors varies from red to brown. Red to brown and impure calcium carbonate content is high. and it restrict the infiltration of water and it has insufficient nitrogen and phosphate is normal and its texture is sandy color varies to red to brown as I said earlier and it is developed in western Rajasthan and semi arid type in southern Punjab and Haryana. Okay, next we'll see about the laterate soil. The soil is become so soft when it is wet and it is hard when it is dried. In the areas of high temperature and high rainfall it is formed as a result of high leaching under the specific monsoon conditions of climate and leaching of soil is accelerated this lime silica will be will be leached away from the soil the leaching process reduces the silica content of the rocks in soils The laterate soils are widely cut as a bricks for the use in house construction. Okay. And this laterate soil is rich in iron, potassium, aluminium and it is deficient in the nitrogen, potassium, lime, humus and its color is red due to the iron oxide. The crops grown here are rice, ragi, sugar cane and cashew. Okay, next we'll see about the saline and alkaline soils. 
these are found in coastal areas in and arid regions the soil contains a larger portion of the sodium sodium potassium and magnesium that's why they are infertile and they do not support any vegetative growth here the soil contains more salts and largely because of the dry climate and poor drainage and it is lack in nitrogen and calcium in areas like uh, especially in punjab and haryana farmers are advised to add the gypsum to solve their problems of the salinity in the soil okay next we'll see about the pt and marshy soil it is found in the areas of heavy rainfall and high humidity such as uh, kerala kerala odisha bengal and coastal areas of the tamil nadu the growth of vegetation is very low in this soil and it contains a large quantity of the dead organic matter or humus which makes the soil more alkaline this soil is with a black color and the vegetation grows very dense in these areas at many places they are alkaline also due to the presence of salt the soils can support the wetland agriculture and it is suitable for the rice aquatic crops next we'll see about the forest soil the soils are found in dense forest regions and higher altitudes uh in the mountain ranges of himalayas purvanchal sahyadris where the sufficient rainfall is available they are typically acidic and often have a shallow top soil layer these soils are essential for the maintaining of the forest ecosystems and the soil is loamy and silty on valley sides and a coarse grain in the upper lobes the lower valley soil is fertile that is productive and the steep slopes soil is very thin and it is less productive okay that's all about the soils i hope you all have understood this topic so If this video helps you in any way please subscribe like share and comment thank you